hey beautiful people in today's video i'll be showing you how you can put some plus on the cross tj app in some simple steps but before we get into that if it is your first time joining my youtube channel make sure you hit that subscribe button hit like comment and share so that every time i drop a video you'll be the first to see and learn something new so these are the important apps you need to insert a samplers into the cross dj you need the cross dj itself and you also need the ex explorer 5 so i will be showing you how uh you know it's very easy to do and i will give you other tips when it comes to you know the cross dj pro now let's begin firstly you go to the sampler section just above the cross feather and you click it once you click the sampler you will discover that there are some rectangular boxes where you have vocals and uh, dub steps so just beneath it you have the sampler part so what you have to do you have to click into that rectangular box you go to uh, add new setup so you click on that plus sign and you will see that a uh, setup has been created so what you need to do is you click inside and you write the name of uh how you want to label that file so i'm putting mc pro dj because i want that file to be located as mc pro dj so what i will do next is i will push the menu up and I will locate my bank folders inside that folder I will find the folder I have created that is the MC Prof DJ folder then I'll click on it now you will notice that the samplers part is empty there is nothing to show that it functions once you click on it you will discover that it doesn't even work so the next thing I will do is I will click on the record button and uh, you know since you're using android it will always ask you uh, why using this app i will take why using this app so i will still click on the record again what you will do is you'll go to every part and you will highlight the record microphone on it uh, once you uh, highlight it it turns into record zero record one record two record three so have you seen then i will click on the record to come out then the next thing i will do is i will go to edit once you click on edit this will give you an option where you can change the name of the parts so what we have to do is i will change this part into a numer a numerics that is one two and just so on uh, that is how you have to do for the rest of the part but let me leave it there because i don't want the video to be too long so now you click on the edit again you'll notice that uh, the, the 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 names of the parts have changed from a record zero one or a record uh, underscore zero uh, to one so once i click there you will find out that there is nothing actually functioning so now we will have to exit the app that will just keep it by the side now we go to our ex5 manager uh, usually we were able to you know do these things with uh, we're able to do uh, these things with uh, our normal file manager but the <laughs> Uh, due to some google principles most of the files are encrypted so we cannot find uh, the data for uh, the cross dj we cannot find the full data for the cross dj inside our normal file explorer that is why we have to go and download this ex for some countries it is paid for some countries it is free so what i'll do is i'll click inside the internal storage then i'll go to a folder and one important thing before you start this process make sure you have downloaded dj drops and you have kept them in a particular folder so that when you start 
it will not be complicated for you to do this process like I want to show you. So the next thing I'll do is I'll go into the folder. You will see that uh, there's some samplers are already having, you know, the MP4, some are having MP3. So what I'll do is I'll click on a particular a sample that I want to use. And then I rename the sample to one. And then at the end of the sample, I make sure I rename it MP4, not MP3 like uh, it came default. So I'm just going to name a couple of these, uh, you know, uh, tracks to MP4. <laughs> so like you see now, it has gone to MP4. And then uh, this second one too is already in the MP4. So that is how you are supposed to do the changes. So what I'll do is I'll click the the two tracks. I will select them. Then I click copy. Then I take back. I go into the Android system. Then inside the Android system, I go to data. Inside the data, I will find the folder of the cross DG. This is the cross DJ. I'll click files. And inside the files, I'll click samples. And inside the sample, you will find lots of files that have been uh, embedded inside. But now you also find the file that I just created. That is the ncprof folder. I'll click on it. Then what I'll have to do is, normally I'm supposed to delete all of this items here but i will not do that at the moment so what i'll do is i'll click on the first the second since i only just selected two i will delete them then i will paste the ones that i copied so now this is the new ones that i copied by default the one you made inside this folder it's the silent one so now I have replaced it with the uh, sampler itself. So what you have to do is you have to exit. You close your cross DJ. Then you reopen the cross DJ app. Once you open the app and you go to the sampler section, you will notice that once you hit the first two samplers that I change, you will definitely get a sound like this. Voila. And let me hit the second. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is how simple it is to, you know, insert samplers into your cross digit. You can do that in all the parts. The same method, you can slow down the video and you watch the same method. You can also add other parts. You can add as many as you can. There is no limit to it. You can add as many as you can, just depending on how you want to be creative with your, your mix and your samplers. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. I go by the name